Hey everybody, Kirstie is here with some more Stormfall Saga of Survival. Now, today I'm going to take you guys through how I perform my Catacombs run. Uh, what I believe you need is at least a weapon of at least about 15 or better. Uh, I don't believe a slingshot will do for efficiency's sake. <clears throat> uh, one emergency good weapon, which I have, but uh, I don't think I'll need it, but... And a decent set of armor, decent being either padded or leather. I just choose leather because I have the stuff to craft it. So, let's go ahead. Which way is he facing? Okay, I see which way he's facing. So we're going to go ahead and kill this zombie here. Mm. Die, zombo! Oh, wait, wait. Let's check his body for stuff. I don't know. I'll take that. I don't know what the tobacco pouches, pouches are used for, if anything. We'll, we'll see in the future, I guess. So, we've got to kill this spider. Kill the spiders. Spiders are annoying and OP. Anyway. So, I'll just drink that and those so that I can approach without being uh... alright got him I got that critical in and that was pretty good anyways there's a bone crusher right up here I don't like fighting those, so you're gonna go ahead and see how I uh, avoid combat with these things. Come on. Okay, cool. Boop. All right. Always take a hit. Doesn't matter. But as long as you de-aggro them, you can just walk away from them. And then you can get the chests. Empty. Oh, lovely. You know, because because Plarium, I totally love empty chests. You know, a little hint there. You know, this is a catacomb, a four skull area. Nothing should be empty. <clears throat> I'd be like me opening this up and it being empty. You know? Anyways, also as a... Uh, quick uh, announcement. I am actually <coughs> detailing down what drops from what kind of chest. Come here, buddy. I need you over here. There we go. Anyway, let's continue. I am detailing what drops from what kind of uh, container. So, you know, in the future I will try to make a video on my results. Like, I'm not going to give you specifics on, like, drop rates or anything. Just what is possible out of what container. Oh. He was not staring the right way. Usually they, uh, are staring in a good direction. This should have some food in it. Mm, yep. Just cheese. Actually, let's eat both pieces. Boom. Done. Full health. Uh, yes, there is a container here. It is barrels. Barrels are not usually worth anything, but if you can stay hidden from the zombie, that works. I'll take that. I'll take that. We're good to go. I don't. I don't need the uh, the empty uh, water pouch. Anyway, so first we're gonna need to kill this guy. Because in the near future, I am going to need the empty space over here. C35. That's exact. So I'll go ahead and drink that. I'll take that. 
because there is another bone breaker over here guarding a trunk. So therefore, you know, I want to come back to that. Damn it. He was facing the wrong way. <laughs> Some of these guys, sometimes you have no choice but to fight because they're staring the wrong direction. But most of these guys down here, though, you are going to want to kill. So that's what I'm doing here. It's just performing mur murder on these zombies. Let's go ahead and heal away my curse points. Kill, kill, kill the zombies! Take that, I don't need the water pouch. And then we can go ahead and get the reliquaries here. These drop uh, some pretty random stuff, it seems. Like, if I ever see anything new, I'll note it down, but usually it's all pretty random. I have a ton of mead in my, in my base, so that's why I'm just using the mead I have on me as a, a food source. Because I know it's used for crafting something, but I'm not sure what yet. I'll take that. That's a spider. Kill this zombie, though. Because this one must die. Critical. Always try to get those criticals when you can. Damn it. Oh, the zombie and spider coming after me. Okay, so we'll kill the zombie. Oh, don't get a hundred. Don't get to a hundred. Okay. If you get to 100 curse points, almost everything in the area will come right after your ass. Alright. Okay, after you clear everything out, which everything that will be in the way, there's a small chest over here. Go ahead and collect it. See what's in it? Oh yes, I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll eat the cheese. Mmm, cheese. Anyway. Who doesn't like cheese? Ooh, yes. I'm gonna swap that. Going through the reliquaries here. See, I don't need to kill that zombie there. That zombie can live. And, ooh, yes. More of that roasted meat. Alright, now the main chest of the catacombs is up over here. It's a, um... What is it? It's a, um... Uh, strong box. Oh, no! Don't follow me all the way over here into the corner, sir. There we go. Excuse me, sir. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Mara? Come on. Over here to, with your friend. No! Damn you. Okay. This is more worth it to do than just fighting them. Because in just fighting them, you're going to take a lot of damage. A lot more than if... You know, if I had just kited them away. Alright, and here's the trunk, or storage uh, box, strong box, whatever it is. 
This has a pretty good loot table. In fact, the devs uh, claim to have increased the loot table on this to be really good. Um, let's see what we got here. Potion of Mara, piece of steel, garbage, and good. Okay. Alrighty, and like I said before, there is one more of these big guys guarding a trunk. I need to walk. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, they kind of wandered towards me. Okay. Anyways, and then we're gonna go all the way over down here, and then there's this guy right here. Oh my gosh, don't follow me in here, friend. Woo! Alright, like I said, there's a trunk right here. We're gonna go ahead and empty out this trunk. And by the way, what I am doing, by the way, the cutting them away and de-aggroing them, oh yeah, that's awesome. Is it is not a glitch, it is not an exploit, it is by design of the game. Uh, whether people want to believe that or not, but that is by design of the game. And I'm sure the dev will see this as a legitimate way of uh, getting the loot without having to do combat. Too much combat. Like, you still have to do some combat in the game, which is why I don't think the dev will ever fix or, uh, you know, nerf this. Because I still have to kill lots of things, I still have to get a lot of monsters out of the way. Let's see, there's gonna be barrels over here. There's one more, uh, one more trunk to get, and I think two small chests, if I remember. Damn you, spiders! Actually, here, follow me, spider. Here, spider. Okay, fine. You want me to kill you? With that one dead, I can go around this one. That is a zombie, and he's looking right in my general direction. Yep. Oh, gotta kill this zombie. You gotta kill this one. Woo! Okay. I'll take this. That and um, let's see, here. we're gonna go ahead and do that. And... Okay, we're all good. Now, the more we come up this way, I'm gonna have to kill this one. Hopefully, I don't have to do too much more killing here. Yep, another small chest here. I think there's one more small chest. Besides this one here. Uh, ooh, yes, thank you. Ooh, yes, thank you. Brimstone, yes, thank you. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and suck all that down. I'll take that. Thank you. Now we go this way. Alrighty. Let's see, these Shrines of Mara usually give cheese, potions of Mara, um, sometimes some other food. Bandages, I'll just use. Pop a potion. Ugh, damn it. Okay, and there is a another big guy right here. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, pull him. We're gonna pull him down this way. Right over here. Let him hit me and we're done. Just om nom some food. Move this way. 
And the trunk is right here, and there's a spider right next to it, but it's walking away, so we're good to grab the contents of the trunk. Grab the contents. Gotta get the loot. Damn you, spider. Okay. So yeah, I don't, like I said, there's a lot of combat you still have to do, so I don't think the dev will see this as too much of an exploit of the system as much as a viable way of doing things. More brimstone. I think brimstone's needed for a couple of good things. And don't need the hood. Let's combine that. Oh, well, actually I'll take the hood because I have space now. Thank you. And then, actually, we're gonna go ahead and let the spider come down this way. And then we're gonna avoid the spider. And we'll om nom some food. Kill a zombo. Kill a zombie boy. Are you a zombie boy? Yes, you are. So we'll just kill another zombie boy. Because look at all the combat you have to do, it's still tearing my armor apart. And this was a full 100% set. So, like I said, the dev shouldn't see this as a exploit because I am still doing a significant amount of combat. I am just avoiding, avoiding the boss monsters. Uh, let's see, no, this isn't a trunk. But there is one more trunk. I just gotta figure out where it is. Uh, I'll just suck that down. Anyway. And we'll suck those down. Oh, damn it. Come on. Miss, miss, miss. RNG. Just take me away. This guy. Ooh, I don't think I have enough. Uh... Nope. <laughs> Did not have enough boat left. Usually I would have expected to find a weapon. I don't remember if the chest. Yep, it was down here. Okay. And that's it. The, uh, that's everything, I think. I think. Uh, food, I'll take it. Food, I'll take it. I'll just suck all that down and I'll keep the keep the cheesecloth. Yep, this is it. Cause there's that zombie boy right there I said could live. Oh boy. We're just gonna walk by the zombie boy instead. Oh yeah, that's right, there's one more thing. Ah, oh, damn it. Pardon me. Gonna have to take care of this and him, apparently. Yes, there is this forge right here. This forge can have any number of metals in it. Uh, it has not dropped anything like Moranian steel or anything yet. Uh, I don't even know if Moranian steel is in the game as of yet. But uh, it's very possible. And we get clay bricks. That's fine. But uh, I don't need this weapon. I'll just keep it equipped so I can hold the clay bricks. Was there anything else over this way? Yeah, no, that was it. That goes to the spider area. Alright. And then we're gonna walk by there. And then we're gonna run. Stop and slow down, and then run. And we're done! 
Uh, I feel bad I had to tap into my emergency weapon. But anyways, that is it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys found this uh, informative on how to avoid the uh, the bone breakers. Uh, like sometimes you have to fight them, sometimes you don't. So that's why I said like I don't think the devs will see this as so much of a uh, exploit or anything. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share this video if you could. And uh, I'll see everybody in the next video. So bye bye.